looking at. So grab your heavy weights. Maybe you've got your eight pound weights and you got something similar. I want some heavy resistance in your hands. Bring your shoulders up, drop them down, heels together, toes apart. You're gonna watch Lee right here. She's gonna get to do the demo. I'll do a lot of talking. Heels together, toe apart. So down to get low right here. Now pull the belly button in, shoulders back, chin is lifted, drop one more floor. It's down inch, up an inch. I want you to slowly move your body with this flow. It's a curl of the bicep. Heels stay glued together. Yeah, there it is. Head is high. Yes, you're just gently off your floor. Bend and straight. Resist letting that chest close up, meaning coming here. You want to keep that chest open, bend, extend. Just like that. You've got five more right there. Here we go. So calling Lee and my purple behind me in two. Drop it low, right arm left, it's right, left, right, drop it low. Yes, now you want to feel this bicep to start to work nice and deep into this muscle right here. So if you are not feeling it yet, squeeze those hand weights a little harder in five, four, three, two, one, hold right here. We're going down one inch, up an inch. I'm keeping my elbow right by my rib cage, working my rotator cuff, keeping the isometric work into that bicep. Let's go. Five more. We'll stay low in four. Here we go. This workout is going to increase your rate of heartbeat. It's going to sculpt your body at the same time. One more hole right here. It's down inch, up an inch. This time your arms are out. Again, don't collapse the chest. Keep it wide open. Head is high. Let's go. Five more. Here you go. For four. You guys look good. Here it is. For three. How we doing, Heather? For two. On one, swoop everything in, drop one more floor, 10 little curls, and then we'll stand it up. Then extend. Full range with the arms to see how low Lee is. She's working the thighs, top of those thighs. Everything is combined here. It's concentrating on your bicep muscles. Let's go three more. Three, two, one, stand it up. Take your arms by your side, reset, Put right foot forward. Give me a lift, lower. Now, what you want to think about here is keeping the head high. Resist leaning the back. The body wants to lean it back, but keep your shoulders right over your hips. And you're going to feel that work coming from your core, your biceps as well. Let's go six more. Six. Here you go. For five. Looking good, you guys. Four. That's like a little zoo with five on Tuesday. Let's go three. You got it. Two. Extend that leg and hold. Then press eight little times. Then eight. Seven. We're going to take you all the way into Texas. In four, three, two. Now on one, take your foot down. Take it to the side. Sweep it behind you nice and slow. It's drop low all the way up from the side. Looks like that. One more slow on your beat eight times. Let's go. Bend, extend. So that is working through your twist, working through that left glute. You're going to feel this. Keep that waistband pulled in. You might as well work those obliques as well. You got four more for four. Here we go. Three. I know it. I'm on it. We got it on one. Hinge your body four. Reach and squeeze eight times. Let's go. Reach. Squeeze. As you do this, you're going to push a little deeper into that left glute. Drop it low. Let's go for four. I'm getting the late afternoon. It's just that early morning stuff. You got two more for two. On one, pulse it back. Get low. Maybe that left heel comes high. Four, three, shoulders over hips. Ten more to the floor. Here we go. Then, extend. So you're getting that extension. You're getting that stretch. You're getting that heat, that resistance. Biceps working. Let's go five. You got it. Four. Here we go. Three. Nice work. Final two. We'll stand it up. On one, stand it up, heels together, legs, toes apart, reset those shoulders. Arms are here, drop it down on four, down one, two, three, 15 curls. Stay low in the legs, it's just biceps working. Elbows are bending, you start to feel any tension in those elbows, maybe you take your palms together or forward and give yourself a little hammer curl instead. Have we got seven more, dropping it low for six. Yeah, you want to feel that sweat coming up. Let's go five more. You got it. For four, looking good. Three, here we go. Two, and one, stand it up. Take those arms for a break. Reset the shoulders, left toe is loud. It's left, lower. Now we use this work to work into the inner thigh muscles. 
not into those hip flexors. So keep that left inner thigh to the ceiling. Right knee is bent slightly. Five more. You got it. For four. Here we go. Three. How are we doing, Heather? How are we doing, Melissa and Ashton? Let's go. For two. On one. Hold right here. Bend press for eight. Seven. Nice, Sarah. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Let's take that curtsy again. Right leg slow. Nice and low. One more slow. You want to feel that stretch? Here we go. On that beat. Let's go. Eight times. Eight. There it is. Super low. Yeah, you should have that heart rate up. Yes, ma'am. So we want the resistance with that heavy weight in the arms. There it is. Let's go. Coming up. Final two. For two. Now stay low. Hand your body. Reach and squeeze eight little times right there. And it is a reach and squeeze. Keeping the back flat. Keeping that core working. Here it is. Five more. Looking so good, you guys. For four. Being good. For three. Two. Simply bring the shoulders of the hips, whole pulses. Three, two, and one, drop it low, 10 more. You got it for nine, here we go. Looking so good, yes ma'am, Terry, show them how it's done. Five more, let's go, five, keep that twist, keep that waist nice and deep. Four, three, we're gonna bring those heels together, toes apart, in two, and one, keep your arms where they are. We're going down an inch, up an inch. Push that rotator cup again. Now hold it wide right there. Just 10 curls, but I want you to drop those hips to the floor. I want you to feel that work all the way through your thighs, all the way through those biceps. Three more times right here. For two, everything swings forward. This time, palms are forward toward each other. It's 10 of those. So you got the long head of the bicep, working different parts of the arm. You're gonna look good, you're gonna feel good too. Breathe through it, you got five more. Then we're gonna finish it up with those bicep curls, palms to the ceiling. Yes, one more. Now palms to the floor, stay low. Here it is, just arms only. Legs are on fire, biceps are on fire. Drop low, here we go. Woo, six more times. Final five, for five, here we go. Four. Nice work, you guys. Three. Let's go for two. On one, stand it up. Reset the body. Bring your shoulders up. Drop them down. Now, again, heels together, toes apart. We're bringing the arms into field goal. Hold right here. Heels together, toes apart. Drop down on four. One, two, three. Just right arm only. Right. Good. Just right. Press. Isometric on that left. You got two more for two. On one, drop it one more floor, just left five times. You got it. Four, here we go. Three, you guys look good. Two, now hold that field goal. Reset the shoulders down the back. Right toes out. Lift, lower, lift. Good, let's go. Six more like that. For five, here we go. Four, good, for three. Let's do this thing, you got it. On one, sweep it behind you, eight overhead, just like that, curtsy, press. You got it, yes, here he goes, let's go. Six, five, looking good, you guys. Four, looking good, three. Final bit. We're going to stay low. Now stick it right here. High heel low. Go high, low, high, low for five, four, three. Drop it low. Hold five, four, three, two. Arms are down. Reset the body. Woo, you ready? Let's do this thing again. Heels together, toes apart. Drop it down. One, two, eight of her head. Both arms at the same time. Press. Press. Here we go. Six more. Six. Five. Keep those shoulders out of your ears. We got this. Three. Final. Final two. Final one. Stand it up. Lift. Lower. Lift. If the shoulders become too much, or you feel it only in your neck, you drop to lower weight or nothing. Breathe through it. For two. On one. Find that curtsy. Overhead eight times. Eight. There it is. So maybe you drop your weights all together. You just make that dish. You feel that work. Let's go. Let's breathe it. Three. Is that right? Two. Hold low. High heel low. Go eight. Seven. We got this. Six. Almost there. Good work, Tara. For three. 
You got a five second hold. Drop low for five, four, three, two, one. Put those heavy weights down. Put your light weights up. And heal your studio method. Light weights are called three pounds. If that's too much for you, you make a fist. You got this. Take your feet out wide. Arms are here. It's down it, up it. Nice and low. Arms are out. Four. There it is. Three. Stay low right here. Pull the belly button in. Just circle those arms. Back for six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Drop one more floor. Circle and forward. Let's go. Six. Five. Four. Three. Stay low right here. High heel, low heel. High, low, high, low for six. Five. Four. Three. Hold six counts for six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Waist your chest. Stand it up. Toes are forward. Now turn that left toe out. Hinge your body. Look at me from the side. Right there. Shoot those arms out wide. Squeeze. Back. We call this alligator. Open that wide mouth. Working in posterior delts. Working shoulders like crazy. Let's go. Five more. Here it is. Four. Can you get as low as Lee? Bring it nice and low. Arms are wide. Breathe through it. Final one right here. Bring that elbow in and press it back. Five, four, three, two. Hold right here. Let's give me a little reach. Squeeze. Reach. Squeeze. It's a low heel. High heel. Feels good, doesn't it? Get low. Five more. Here we go. Four. Three, looking good. Two, hold right here and press it back. Five, four, three, two. Take your waist, your chest. Now rotate to your left. Open that chest. Bring your arms right here above your uh, above your hips and press. Press. If you need to come to standing, follow me right here. Keep that chest open. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two. Stay low. Here's your move. We're bringing those arms in, lift up, in, lift up. I'm giving you the option of the feet on the floor if you need that. Maybe that lunge is too much. You listen to your body before me. In. Two more for two. Bring that heel high. Ten little lifts. Up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Keep your arms where they are. Just stand it up. Drop low in that squat. Ten little lifts. Little lifts. Less. Oh, yeah. How we feeling? How we doing? Keep that chest wide open for five, four, three, two. Waste your chest. Come up to standing. Let's reset. I know how it's feeling. She's feeling good. Palms are forward this time. Give me a little back, back, squeeze. Drop low. Open that chest up. Back, back, squeeze. Let's go for two. Now watch me on the side. I'm going back, forward. Palms back, palms forward. Back. Four, for four, three, two, one. Knuckles through your ceiling, drop it down. 15 lifts, press. Small lifts with those arms, staying in those legs. Little lifts of the arms. Yeah, you push it to your edge every time. This is that change you came for. Let's do it. Four, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Reset, toes are forward. Now take your right foot toe out. Hand your body to your right. Bring those arms out and give me an open and a close. Squeeze, lift, squeeze, squeeze. There you go. You want to feel the back of the shoulders come together. Maybe you have something back there you want to keep in there. Maybe you got a pencil you can put between those shoulder blades. That's how far you're squeezing them. Let's go. For five. For three. You got it. Two. On one, press it. Now bring that right arm in and pulse it down. Get low. You want more? Bring that right heel high. Four, three, two, same thing. Give me a reach. We call this bow and arrow. Obvious reasons. Get low. Reach. Squeeze. Reach. Squeeze. Four more. You got this. Breathe through it. Oh, feels so good. One more time. Press it back. Let's press it. Five, four, three, two, on one. Waist to your chest. Rotate to your right. This time, palms to the ceiling. Give me a little bend. Press. Get low. Now, if you can, bring that right heel high. Your goal here is to keep your arms above your hips. Keep your hips as low as they can go. If you're strong enough, you're bringing that heel off the floor. Slowly just rolled in. Oh, welcome to the class. Let's go. Bend. Press. Press. Six, five, four, stay low, because you got some in and ups. Let's go. Bringing it in, lift up, in. How are we doing? 
I know. Triceps. Nothing like it. You want the back of those arms nice and cut, nice and strong. Balances the body out. Let's go for two. Woo, there it is. Bring those feet in. And five, four, three, two. Bring it all the way up. If you got more, up on those high heels. Ten little lifts. Ten, nine, eight. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Nice work, you guys. All right, let's put your weights down. We're going to have a seat on your floor. So you're going to follow Lee and I. We're both going to sit down. Lee's going to show you a little more of an advancement. She'll show you from the side. I'm showing you from the front. Let's all start with your hips high. Rock back over your hands. Pull the belly button in. Give me a little bend, extend, bend. So this is your basic tricep dip. If that's too much, you can always have your hands up on a chair. There you go. There it is. For three. Here we go. Two. Now one. More advanced. You're going to extend those legs out. Stay with me if that's too much. Give me a pulse. Pulse. So those legs extended is a little tougher. Now we're going to go to the left and to the right. We're going left, right. Yeah, there it is. Let's go for five. Five, four, three, two, one. Press it down ten times. Ten. Stay with me with those knees bent if you need to. If you're more advanced, you're with Lee. Four more. Let's go. Three, two, stay low. Push it up eight times. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Have a seat on one. Take that right elbow up. Give me a little tricep release, right? That's a little stretch. And let's take that left arm up and over. Hold right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take you into plank. Our favorite thing to do at Hilliard Studio Method, plank position. Now, Lisa's going to show you the different positions. A basic plank can be knees on the ground, but really important is to have those hips and shoulders the same exact height. Tuck your tailbone under if you need to. Pull the belly button in for sure. Now, advance it, curl your toes under, straight those legs. Hold right here. Let's bring one of these. Right, left. And notice she's keeping her hips solid and still. Keeping them square to the floor. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring those hips nice and high for a pike. It's a hot pike, up for two, press it down into a plank. It's a movement with that breath. So let's inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now hold right here. Take your hands wide. We're going to combine this with a push up. She's going to show you options. You could be on the knees. Hips back. Hips forward with a bend and a straight. Now more advanced. Watch this. Hips high. Hips forward. It's a bend and a straight. Your choice. Let's go for eight. Good, so we're on that beat now. There you go, seven more. Maybe you're on your knees. That's a fine place to be. You're still working hard. You're pushing to your edge every time. Yes, follow me. She just dropped down to the knees. You can always do that in between. Check your street. Let's go. Four, two more, is that right? Two more starting here. Hips high, hips low. One more time, bringing them high and low. Push up three times. Here it is, let's go. Down. And upside plank coming with that left hand down right here. Let's take that left hand down. Now, options on side plank. Knee can be down. Leg can be lifted. Or you can take that right leg across. Leg goes straight. That's hard stuff. You listen to your body. Don't dump into that shoulder. Now, hold. For advance, here's your advancement. You got a five-second hold for five, four, three, two. Reach your arm long and lean. You got eight crunches right there. Maybe use hold stillness with pause. That is where you're feeling your edge today. That edge is that place where you make that change, where you push it to your edge every time. You're going to change your body, change your mind. One more time. Hold right here for five, four, three, two, and one. Come to your short, uh, to your forearms and just hold. Just forearm hold. We're going to go back to the other side in a minute. But right now, I want to take a break out of those wrists. We're going to go right here, left. There it is. So she's doing hip dips. So you can see how her hips are level. She's now on her knees. There's your options. You can take whichever option you want. But this is about working your waist, keeping those shoulders, keeping that core work. All right, heart rate is up. 
Let's go. Three. Two. On one. Now stay where you are. Just lift your right leg, bend it in half. Hold it. Give me eight little lifts. Up eight. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Put that foot down. Same thing. Other leg. Let's go. Up eight. I want you to try to push that foot to your seat and feel this. Let's go. Five. Four. Three. Two. You got a 10 second hold. Both feet are on the ground. We're going to come up into that side plank. I'm going to straighten those arms. In five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come up to straight arms. If you need that pike, you take it. You got a little hold right here. And now bring it into the side plank. Option number one. Option number two. And option number three. Wherever you are, let's hold this one for five seconds. Let's hold it. Five, four, three, two. Long and lean. Let's stretch it. Let's go crunch, reach, crunch, reach. You got six more. Nothing like that. Working that balance, working that strength of the core, working the shoulders. Everything is on fire. You got it. Final one, five second hold right here for five, four, three, two, on one. Come back to center and hold right here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring those hips high. Let's pike this up. This is your break. If you need a shell stretch, you take that shell stretch. Hold right here. Hold it. Five, four, three, two. Now come back up into position for your push up. And when we have push up at Hilliard Studio Method, we're not doing a chaturanga push up. We're doing more of an old school push up with your elbows going back to a back angle, making sure we're working through the packs. Every muscle in your body is going to work right here. You got 10 push ups. Starts right now. Let's go. Bend, extend. Stay slow with these. Stay controlled. Use your breath. Six, six stars here. Four, six. There you go. Five more. Looking good, you guys. Four. Here we go. For three. This is it. Two. Hover and hold for five, four, Three, two, one. You got a one minute hold in your plank. Now, here's your choices. You could always go back to your shoulders. I mean, back to your elbows, sorry. Back to your elbows. Or you could stay on those straight arms. Some of the things that can happen in this plank, though, is your wrist can get tired if you're jumping into them. So you could always use a, a weight under your hand on the floor, or you could just make a fist on the floor. So listen to your body here. You've got 45 seconds left on this clock. So hang with me. This is good stuff. Every time you hold this plank, you get a little bit stronger, not just in that core, but the entire body. Use your inner thighs. Let's go ahead and engage those inner thighs, low belly muscle. Feel that strength. Just build and build right here. Let's go. 25 seconds on the clock. Head stays high. Well, this plank is literally a plank. You are in a straight line, right, from the head to the heels. We've got this. Final 15 seconds on the clock. Breathe through it. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's count it down. Final 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Let's take a little break right here. So we're going to go down to our knees. You stay with me if your knees are popping. You follow Lee. If you can sit back on your knees and curl your toes under, let's take that right arm across and give yourself a shoulder stretch. Now keep the energy in both arms. Pull the belly button in. Bring that right elbow up. Give it a little side bend. Tricep stretch again. Take the left arm across, feeling that shoulder stretch. Shoulders down, away from the ears. Elbow high. Little side bend. Now palms are back. Press it back. Four, three, two. Reach behind your back. Squeeze your fingers together. Lift your head high. Lift those arms high. Now look to your left and look to the right. Reverse that stretch, upper back stretch, and then shoulders come up and down. Now I'm going to grab a chair. You guys have got maybe a wall, a sofa, a table, something that's stable. But we're going to use this as a ballet bar. So this is our lovely chair right here with the fur all over it. So she's going to face her chair. Yeah, I want you to face it today. So we're going to face your chair today because we're going to do a little combo of the front of the legs, back of the legs, quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, all that good stuff. So we're going to start right in those quads. You ready, chair? Okay, heels together, toes apart. Let's go down low. Down one, two. You got to be happy. There's no weights in your hands right now. Hold. Press your thighs back. But you're low, so you're not depending on that chair. Maybe you bring one arm up, maybe, maybe you bring the other arm, but you find that balance. For five, but don't lose that look, that low, get low. For four, three, 
two on one. Now hold back onto your chairs because I want you to go slow and steady. We're going to go to the floor on two. It's down, slow, halfway up. So we're never coming to standing here. We're keeping the contraction in those quadriceps. Those quadriceps are big, strong muscles. Yeah, you want to strengthen the muscles around the knees as well, not going below the knees if it feels uncomfortable. We are strengthening those thighs. Two more times. Let's go low for two. Back up one more time. We're taking it low for two. Now hold low. Try to bring one arm up. Try to bring the other arm up. Drop one more floor. Pulse it 20 times right there. So as you pulse, notice her heels and her shoulders and her ears are all sort of in the same line. You don't want to hinge your body forward. You want to keep that rib cage zip. Let's go. Final bit starts here. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven. We got it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Now, Lisa's going to turn to the camera so she can show you this knock knee pigeon toe. But it looks very awkward, and it is awkward. So what you're going to feel here is the muscles of your inner quadriceps, your medial quads, and also this muscle around your knee, not to mention your glutes and hams, right? Drop low. Here we go, two times. It's down for two, all the way up. But keep the knees together. Down for two, up. Just like they've got a magnet between them. They're not coming apart for any reason at all. Now stay low. Hold right here. Pelvic tilt. Give me a little tilt. Maybe you bring your arm up, oh, that left arm in the air. That is your choice. Maybe you face that chair and you hold on to that chair or that countertop or wherever you're working. You need something stable right here. How we doing, Ashton? I see your name up here. I see Celia here. Let's go. Six, five, four. We're traveling down on two starts right now. Let's travel down for two. We're bringing it up. One more time. Drop it low. Hold. Take the tuck under. 20 curl, 20 pulses. Sorry. Not curls, pulses. Yeah, that'd be hard. Little pulse, down it, down it. So the knees are not knee, pitch and toed. It is a good thing. This is working good muscles around those joints. Here we go. Final seven. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Shake it out on one. Shake it out. So face your, your chair this time. You're going to have your feet, though, parallel. You can bring your inner thighs together if you choose. Bring your heels high. Now, you're on those super high heels. Remember the high heels we used to wear when we used to go out? Those super high heels, right? Now going down an inch, it's down an inch, up an inch. But I want, if I were in your room, I would come behind you and I would make those sure those heels are super high. Why are we doing that? Because we're working deep into these quads in a whole different well. Let's go four, let's do it. Three, two, now drop low. Now drop two more floors. Now bring one arm up. Bring the other arm up. Hold. It's down an inch, up an inch. See if you can hold that balance as you move the hips slightly down an inch, up an inch, and feel that heat build as well. Arms in the air means heart rate up. It's down an inch, up an inch. Six more. On this time, I hear a lot of uggs behind me. For three, you got it. For two, pulse it down. Five. Four, you got to hold. Coming in two and one. Bring those arms in the air. Ten second hold right here. Drop low. Let's count it. Five, four, three, two, one. You're shaking me. I love seeing that. Shake it out. All right. Before we go to this fold over, I want you to take one foot into your um, hand. Pelvic tilt and give me a little stretch for the balance. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Other leg. So bring that left arm up. If you need to hold on to your chair or servers, you do it for four, three, two, one. Okay, so we're going to take that right leg behind you, left leg behind you. So we're, we're going to show you right here. This is called fold over. Now options, you can take those elbows on your chair. That's going to support your back a little bit. Now lift the leg up and down. We're going up and down. Now what's important here is she's squaring your hip, her hips to the floor. So Tara, square your hips a little bit more toward the floor. Here you go. And lift, lower. But you never want to overarch the back. So connect through the belly to the back. That's your core. Pull the belly button in. Let's go. Four, three, two. Now hold this leg here. Bend the knee in half. The lifted leg. Now lift it higher. 
Now see if you can come off that heel into the standing leg. Drop that leg a little bit, bend a little bit more. Now it's an up, up hold. Now it's not a lot of movement here, but we're trying to get that foot a little closer to the glute. And we're trying to lift this hand, this glute up by strengthening his hamstring. That's the beauty of the hamstrings. You want them strong. We're balancing the body with this workout. This is good stuff. It's one, two, three. If you need to have those elbows on the floor, I mean on the table, you do it. If you need to have that foot flat on the floor, you do it. You find this place where you work it right here for two. Now hold what you got. I want you to bring the knee into the chest and then all the way out. Little ab work. Bring it in for two, all the way out for two. Bring it in for two, out. One more time. Bring it in for two. Now hold. Take your hands lower on your chair, or stay where you are if you're using your elbows. But notice she took her hands way down this chair. 20 lifts right here. No lifts. Lifts. So as low as you can go, that means that standing leg is getting a lot of good work. Got a good, good bone density work right there, right? Get low. Let's go straight up. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put your hands high on the bar. Take your head, leg out to the side. Now, her outer thigh is to the ceiling. I want her to bring that knee all the way in, and then shoot the leg straight out. Knee comes all the way in. Slow work, waist work, leg work. All the way in. Now, five on the beat. Ready? We're bringing it in and out. One more from four. You guys look good for three. Here we go. For two. Nice, Tara. On one. Outer side of the ceiling. Up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Face your ballet bar. I call your chair a ballet bar right now. You got 10, 10 little lifts right here. Straight leg. Up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Bend the knee in half. Final ten. We're going back into the thigh work. Start after this. Up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. On one. Stand it up. Shake it out. Shake it out. Before we go to the other leg, we're going to do a little bit of quad stretch or a little bit of quad work because we want to balance the body out. Stick heels together, toes apart. We're going to start with the arms in the air or one hand on your chair. We're going down one, two, three, four. Circle to the right, to the right. Now, my goal here is to keep those knees still. We're working the waist nice and deep. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. Now, drop one more floor. Let's go the other way. Maybe both hands are off the, off the chair completely. Breathe through it for four, three, two, on one to the floor, on two. Down for two, halfway up for two. Nice work. Down for two, halfway up. Three more just like that. Down for two. How are you doing, Ashton? Up for two. How are you doing, Brittany? I know you're doing this. One more time. Low for two. Now hold right here. Pulse it ten little times. Down it. Down it. Feel so good. You're going to look so good as well. We've got five, four, three, two. Hold. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Great work, you guys. Shake it out. Okay, remember that knock knee pigeon toad? So it looks really awkward, but it really works. So you want to turn your knees toward each other, just like that. Now go ahead and bring one arm in the air if that suits you. If not, you're holding onto your chair. We're just going down for two, half, all the way up for two. Let's go down for two. But notice this magnet is still between those knees, and they are not coming apart. Looks good, Tara. Taking it down, two, up, just like that. Taking it down, two, one more time, take it down and hold right there. Now give me little pelvic tilts, little tilts, yes. She's showing you from the side. That means her pelvis is tilting. Her hips are coming forward. Her belly button is pulling deep inside. Let's go, four, three. Oh, let's travel down on two. Travel down for two, we're bringing it back up for two. So she took a little stretch right there, no problem. Yes, yeah, she hit her edge, we all have one. Yeah, it's not just like the one beside you. Everybody's got a different one. You push it to your edge every single time. Three more, down, two, up. Nice work, you guys. Down for two, up. One more time, down. Now hold here, take the tug out, 10 little pulses. Down, down, breathe through it. Here we go, final seven, six, five, four, three, 
two. I hear you need a little break, so stand it up. Shake those legs out. We'll do that final leg quad work right here before we go into fold over. You ready? Bring those inner thighs forward like your feet are on railroad tracks. Heels come high like you're wearing five inch heels. You're dropping down on two. We're going knee level on two. Hold onto your chair. Keep the head high. Yes, ma'am. This is good stuff. We work out barefoot at Hilliard City Method on purpose. We're working the muscles all the way through the bottom of the feet. There it is. Through full body. There it is. Up for two. Two more. Down. Two. Up. One more. Take it low. Right there. Now stay with you guys. We're going to tuck right here. Little tucks. Oh, you maybe want to bring arm up? Yeah, let's do it. We're traveling. You're traveling on two. We're going down. She's shaking. I like it. Well, you know, Lee and I have been on vacation to the beach. So you deserve a little shake, right? We're taking it low. Two. Yeah, we all have lives, right? So we're some days are a little stronger than the others. Let's honor the body. Get low. Let's go down. Two. One more time. This time we're dropping low. For two. Now hold right there. Both arms in the air if you can. Pulse it down. Ten times. Oh, feels so good. Let's go. Seven. Six. Five, four, Dave will get you down there. Let's get low for three, two, seven up. Holy cow, holy cow. Okay, shake it out. I think we need a stretch, what do you think, right? Right foot into the hand. Bring that arm up. This time, let's take it into a nice pretty dancer. So following Lee right there, she's gonna hold on to her bar. Or you could extend that arm and find that balance, whatever you want, for five, four, three, two, one. Maybe not. Or you can fall over. There you go. Now let's bring that left foot to your seat. Oh, that was so good. Bring the right arm up. Hinge your body forward and hold. For five, four, three, two. Are you ready for a little fold over on that other leg? This will be your right leg. So you're squaring your hips. It's important that those hips are squared to your floor, let's lift, up, down. Now shift your weight to your right. You don't wanna push into that left glute. You don't want all that work there. No, we wanna uh, balance it out with the core. So Tara, I can see you, I want you to square your hips just a tiny bit more with the core. There you go, perfect work, there it is. For four, three, two, now on one, hold it high, come up on that high heel, that standing high heel. Bend this knee in half. Square your shoulders, you ready? Give me a little. Up, up, hold. One, two, three. Up, up, hold. There it is. Up, up, squeeze it. One, two, three. Here we go. Up, up, hold. Now remember this. The closer you can get that foot to your seat, the more you're gonna lift that seat and strengthen this cramp hamstring, balancing out the whole body. Injury free, right? That's our goal. Our goal is to be healthy, injury free. Let's go for more. Not to mention still fit and high. Ready? Four. Good. Three. Two. You remember this one? Hold. Let's bring it in. Oh, feels so good for a little ab work and a stretch. There it is. Bring it all the way in. All the way out. Three more times. All the way out. Two more. We got it. In for two. Out. Last one. Bringing it in for two. Now hold right there. I want you to take your hands down to the low part of your chair. Feels good, right? Now lift that leg high. Square your hips. 20 lifts. Let's go up 20. Yeah, bend your knee in half, Tara. There you go. Try to touch that foot to your seat. Looks so good. How are we doing, Ashley? How are we doing, Heather, Sully, Melissa, Brittany? We're all hanging in, aren't we? Let's go. How we got? For four, three, two, and one. Now take your hands higher on your chair. Turn your outer thigh to the ceiling. We're bringing it all the way in, all the way extend. One more slow. All the way in, all the way extend on your beat. Let's go. In, out. Breathe through it. There you go. For three. Here we go. Two. On one, lift it nice and high. Little lifts up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You guys are killing it. On one, square your hips back. Important, square those hips down. You got 10 little lifts right here. Let's go, straight legs. Yes, oh, there it is. That is that fine burn. Lift it higher, you got it. For four, three, two, now bend it in half. Final 10, let's go up 10, nine, eight, Seven. We got this. Six, five, four, three. Holy cow. Okay, you know what we need? 
We need a really stretch, for sure. So what we're going to do is hold on to your chair, or maybe don't. Follow me without a chair. Take a figure four. Without a chair, I'm going to put my hands in prayer, and I'm going to hinge my body forward and pulse it down, down. Feels so good right there. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. Stand it up. Let's just take that other leg and press it down. Yeah, feels good. Let's go. Flex that foot as well. Four, three, two, and one. Great work. Let's finish it up with some ab work. So I want you to lay flat on your floor. So we're going to reset, not reset, we're going to finish this workout with a good series of abs. So I want you to take your hands to your low belly. Take your thumb to your rib cage. Lay on your floor, fall and lean. Pull the belly, I mean, inhale, breathe into your nose. As you exhale through your mouth, breathe that exhale air out. Rib cage and the hips come closer together. Keep the glutes loose. Does that make sense? Take a breath again. Inhale in. Exhale. Zip up the ribs so the belly back in. Low back should be on your mat. Now bring one knee up, bring the other knee up. Keep your hands on your belly. Now knees are directly over hips. If they're here, you're losing your ab con connection. Now tap the right toe down and bring it up nice and slow. Take the left toe down. So it's just working a nice little easy workout right in that transverse abdominus, that key muscle for not only your posture, but your entire health of your body. You want it nice and strong. Yeah, now hold right here. Now turn your knees out like a little Charlie Chaplin feet. Same thing. Take it right. It's right, left, left, left. Yes. So that took it out of the hip blessers, just in case. Let's go. More, more. Here we go. We're in three. Looking good, you guys. Two. Now, here's the challenge. We're going to take both feet at the same time, going down, touch the floor, bring it all the way, halfway up. Keep it at 45 degrees. So never going straight up. We're taking it low, two, up. Three more. Low, two, up. Two more. We've got this low, two, up. This time, bring it low, two. Now hover halfway and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little rock side to side. We're going to do a basic Pilates 100. And it's one of the best things you can do. It's good, good stuff for that transverse abdominus. She's going to nod her chin. Her shoulder blades are coming as high off the floor as they can. Extend those arms. Arms come down by your side. Maybe you bend those knees. And pulse it down, two, three, four, get to two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Notice her chin is level to the floor. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Basic work here. Basic Pilates 100. Yes, this is good stuff. Get low, pull that belly button deep, feel the strength. That is the belly you ordered. Look how flat it is. Good. Two more, let's go. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. One more time. Hold. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bring your head down. Bring your knees into your chest. Now reset. Pull the belly button in. We're going to bring that right knee into your chest. Extend the left leg out and lift, lift it off the floor. Lift your chest off the floor as well or your lower back off. We're just going to change legs. Extend, extend. Now, notice nothing is moving on Lee's upper body. We're just extending. We're keeping the transverse abdominus right here engaged. That's your girdle muscle. Back and front work. Let's go six, five, four, three, two, one. Shoot that left, right, right leg straight up in the air. Walk your hands up to that calf. Reset the body. Now take your left arm up and press it up, up. Up. There you go. This is work into those leaks coming up right here in four, three, two. Now she's going to reach over, twist her body away from you guys, and press it up and over for 10, 9, 8, 7. Got it. Shoulder blades off the floor here is key. Shed this level. Four, three, two. Hold right here. Fist bumps five times. Five, four, three, Two, on one, head and shoulders to the floor. Both legs in the air. Shoot them straight up. Head and shoulder rest. Lift it up. Up. Now, this is not a rest of the transverse abdominus. We're still working right here. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Bring your knees into your chest. Extend that opposite leg. Yes, that left leg all the way up. Nod your chin. Hold right here. And give me a little lift. Lifts, 
left. So we're on the other side. We've got that left arm lifted in the air. Right leg, uh, you know, whichever one is the opposite for you. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. She's going to twist toward you and up, up and over for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on one, fist bump five little times right here. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, on one. Head and shoulders down. Legs are straight up in the air. 20 pulses up. Let's go up 20 right there. This is it. This is the final work right on that core. Pull it belly button in. Working that transverse abdominis. This is your core strength. We've got this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Nice work, you guys. It is time to cool your body down for a stretch. So pull the belly button in and bring those knees into your chest. And I'm going to give you a little bit of release, right? So don't leave now. This is a good part. <laughs> this is, you worked hard for this stretch. You, you stretched your body pretty much the whole time we worked out with this resistance. But this is going to feel good. Let's find a happy baby. Oh, she wants to stretch for us. That's, that's exactly right. Let's open the chest up. Let the up, upper body open up let your fingertips reach the one way part of your room the other the toes to the opposite end and now bring your knees into your chest now find the happy baby and that just feels good take your tailbone as close to the floor as you can maybe close your eyes and rock side to side feels good on that lower back lower back stretch inner thigh release now keep your head down across your right leg over your left and that's going to be a cool, we call it a reverse butterfly stretch. Pull your thighs toward your chest and again, side to side. You're going to feel a nice blue stretch right here. Bring your arms into field goal. And I want you to feel the twist as you turn, take your knees to the right side of your body. I want you to breathe in to the left side of your, of your obliques right there. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, uncross your legs, come back to center. Recross left over right. Breathe the knees into your chest. Again, a little side to side rock. Arms are wide into feel cold. Take the knees out to the side. Looking to your right. Now uncross your legs before you come back to center. And let's keep our head and shoulders on the floor today. Reach up. If you've got a towel at home or a strap, you're welcome to use it. Lee's just going to use her hands. Walking her hands up to her calf. Go ahead and nod your chin one time. So don't you feel that hamstring stretch? small bend of the knee now flex through that foot and feel that deep stretch of the hamstring now bring your head and shoulders back to the floor and take a nice deep stretch bring that leg all the way to the left side of the body with a small bend full extension and then bring it back to center and let's take the other leg up little nod of the chin with a small bend of the knee full extension and then head and shoulders back to the floor. Let's take it all the way over. Yeah, this is good work. You guys have done a great job. Bring it all the way up. Now I want you to hold onto the thighs, roll yourself up, and we're going to finish this Hill Your Sudi Method workout the way we always begin. Crisscross your legs. Take your hands to your low belly. Take your thumbs to your rib cage, the lowest part of your rib cage. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth blow out 100 birthday candles and feel that transverse abdominus engage. Abs are flat, rib cage zipped. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale, zip everything up. Now put your palms down on your thighs or down toward the ceiling. Bring your shoulders up, back and down. Open your eyes, you guys. Great work. Be co people, you guys have got it going on. I didn't see you all working out, but I knew you were all there.